talk for yourself, you can't uh, go anywhere you want to go, and they have to do it for you. In fact, I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. Um, I, I have an aide who uh, in school has been with me for years. She's a lovely lady. In fact, I just got through with a fight next year with the home fire school to get her back because she was gone for the year. And she knows me so well, and she's able to interpret what I need so that she'll say even before I get the opportunity to. Uh, you know, we'll be in class, and I'll go to answer a question, and she'll say, well, she meant to say this one. Isn't that what you meant? You meant to say, well, no, I meant to say that, you know, um, two and two is four. That's how I meant to say it. And she doesn't mean to misunderstand me, but I think in knowing me so well and thinking she knows what I need, that she doesn't have the capability of saying, okay, maybe she needs to say this for herself. The other misunderstanding is that, okay, they're disabled, they can do everything for themselves. And normally I wouldn't say that, but some people are really like that, you know. After they get to know you better, uh, they tend to feel like, you know, she can do whatever for herself. And it's really hard to say to a person, especially after you've proved how smart you are, uh, you know, you just got an A on, a on an exam, and you say, well, I really can't tie my shoes. You're 17 years old and you're thinking, I just got an A on, you know, a history paper and I can't tie my shoes. You know, what does that whole thing mean? And so people don't tend to get that. Okay, she can get A's in history, but she can't tie her shoes. So what's up with her? You know, and, and sometimes I don't even know. I don't, I, I don't know why things are the way they are. I just know I have to, I have to accept that misunderstanding because someone's always going to misunderstand me when I need. And it's not that I can't convey the message. It's just that they have their own preconceived notions of who I am and what I can do, and I have to keep fighting them. And what happens when you call them on it? Um, well, it depends on the person. Some back off immediately, and some just ignore me. They'll just ignore it and keep doing their own thing. And I must say, sometimes I'm not assertive enough to say, look, you're, you're really not getting it. You're not getting that I need you to understand me, and I need you to do it the way I ask you to, no matter what the task is. You know, I just say, well, oh, they know me. They're the, they're the person that's standing. And I'm, I'm the person who can't do it, so they must know that. And for the people who get it, they automatically back off. It's just like, they'll stare at you for a minute. And they'll go, 